statistically, right, unfortunately, the number of women entrepreneurs are around like 10% uh, in terms of the deal flow coming to us. So wish that number goes up. It's gone up from about 7 8% like three years ago to about 11% now. And hopefully you'll see more of it. I think we'll see more of it because there are uh, very interesting businesses which actually need uh, women entrepreneurs to drive stuff. So that, that's one. You ha we are sitting in B-Hub, which is good. Hopefully they're actually doing a bit too, uh, doing their bit to actually help out. Now, when it comes to uh, women empowerment, like obviously if you are funded by us, automatically you're empowered. So we will do whatever it takes to get you to the next level in terms of leadership, ability to hire, scale the business, get your business contacts, all that. So that that we are committed to, whether it's you're a male entrepreneur or a female entrepreneur, right? So that there is no kind of distinction because we want the business to do well. Why? Because we're investors and we want our money to work and eventually that's that selfish interest where you guys do well and then we do well, right? So that's that's one bit. The second thing is we run into situations where there's a board already and typically the woman representation is the wife of the male entrepreneur, we will not touch it. And people don't realize that that's actually a negative thing, right? Unless both the people are actually co-founders and doing stuff. Uh, there's a lot of this going on in the SME sector, right? That's why she says there's no empowerment and that should change. And I don't think the government is going to change that. I think it's basically people have to make mistakes and more people have to actually get, get into these situations like the non-performing assets and things like that and that, that's when it's going to get cleared. So from our standpoint, whoever is on the board needs to be basically a poster girl or poster woman. Someone who's achieved something, someone who can contribute, then it gives us credibility. If it's just the spouse or some relative, then we will back off. And so that's what I want to encourage here also. Try not to get into that situation. Yeah, I think uh, we are there to basically empower them through their journey. If, we, if you look at all our companies, we are active investors. We take you from the seed level to pre-series A, series A. We take you through your business metrics, help you scale, get you your customers, get you key senior hires, get you people uh, whom you want on the board which is with the right representation. Because as you start to grow, you will be in front of a lot more audiences and you're going to be raising more capital and you may be on the path to going IPO, as she said, like 200 crores, maybe not enough, but I'm saying, so in which case the entire thing has to be clean. So that's what we do.